Peter Zeeman, Dutch, Zim. The 25th of May 1865 to the 9th of October 1943, was a Dutch physicist who shared the 1902 Nobel Prize in Physics with Hendrik Lorentz for his discovery of the Zeeman effect. Childhood and youth. Peter Zeeman was born in Zonemeer, a small town on the island of Schouwen-Duiveland, Netherlands, to Catherinus Verandinus Zeeman, a minister of the Dutch Reformed Church, and Willem I. He became interested in physics at an early age. In 1883 the Aurora Borealis happened to be visible in the Netherlands. Zeeman, then a student at the high school in Zurich Zee, made a drawing and description of the phenomenon, and submitted it to Nature, where it was published. The editor praised the careful observations of Professor Zeeman from his observatory in Zonemeer. After finishing high school in 1883 he went to Delft for supplementary education in classical languages, then a requirement for admission to university. He stayed at the home of Dr. J. W. Lely, co-principal of the gymnasium and brother of Cornelis Lely, who was responsible for the concept and realization of the Zur de Zee works. While in Delft, he first met Heek Kamelingons, who was to become his thesis advisor. Education and early career. After Zeeman passed the qualification exams in 1885, he studied physics at the University of Leiden under Kamelingons and Hendrik Lorentz. In 1890, even before finishing his thesis, he became Lorentz's assistant. This allowed him to participate in a research program on the care effect. In 1893 he submitted his doctoral thesis on the care effect, the reflection of polarized light on a magnetized surface. After obtaining his doctorate he went for half a year to F. Karl Rosch's Institute in Strasbourg. In 1895, after returning from Strasbourg, Zeeman became privatizant in mathematics and physics in Leiden. The same year he married Johanna Elizabeth Lebret, 1873-1962, they had three daughters and one son. A photo Zeeman took of the Zeeman effect. In 1896, three years after submitting his thesis on the care effect, he disobeyed the direct orders of his supervisor, and used laboratory equipment, to measure the splitting of spectral lines by a strong magnetic field. He was fired for his efforts, but he was later vindicated. He won the 1902 Nobel Prize in Physics for the discovery, of what has now become known as the Zeeman effect. As an extension of his thesis research, he began investigating the effect of magnetic fields on a light source. He discovered that a spectral line is split into several components in the presence of a magnetic field. Lorentz first heard about Zeeman's observations on Saturday 31 October 1896 at the meeting of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences in Amsterdam, where these results were communicated by Kamelingons. The next Monday, Lorentz called Zeeman into his office, and presented him with an explanation of his observations, based on Lorentz's theory of electromagnetic radiation. The importance of Zeeman's discovery soon became apparent. It confirmed Lorentz's prediction about the polarization of light emitted in the presence of a magnetic field. Thanks to Zeeman's work it became clear that the oscillating particles that according to Lorentz were the source of light emission were negatively charged and were a thousandfold lighter than the hydrogen atom. This conclusion was reached well before Thomson's discovery of the electron. The Zeeman effect thus became an important tool for elucidating the structure of the atom. Professor in Amsterdam because of his discovery, Zeeman was offered a position as lecturer in Amsterdam in 1897. In 1900 this was followed by his promotion to professor of physics at the University of Amsterdam. In 1902, together with his former mentor Lorentz, he received the Nobel Prize for Physics for the discovery of the Zeeman effect. Five years later, in 1908, he succeeded van der Waals as full professor and director of the Physics Institute in Amsterdam. A new laboratory built in Amsterdam in 1923 was renamed the Zeeman Laboratory in 1940. This new facility allowed Zeeman to pursue refined investigation of the Zeeman effect. For the remainder of his career he remained interested in research in magneto-optics. He also investigated the propagation of light in moving media. This subject became the focus of a renewed interest because of special relativity and enjoyed keen interest from Lorentz and Einstein. Later in his career he became interested in mass spectrometry. Later years. In 1898 Zeeman was elected to membership of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences in Amsterdam, and he served as its secretary from 1912 to 1920. 
he won the Henry Draper Medal in 1921, and several other awards and honorary degrees. Zeman was also elected a foreign member of the Royal Society in 1921. He retired as a professor in 1935. Zeman died on 9 October 1943 in Amsterdam, and was buried in Harlem.